Us live from London is Keir Giles, a senior consulting fellow from the Russia and Euro-Asia programme at Chatham House. Thanks for joining us on Euronews Now. Well, we've heard some, uh, a lot of international accusations uh, against Russia. It's under undue uh, pressure. What kind of response can we uh, expect from Moscow? Unfortunately, it looks as though it's going to be more of the same. Russia had a perfect opportunity at the, yesterday at the UN Security Council meeting that your correspondent reported on to step back, to distance itself from the attack, to reduce the tensions by saying that this was not anything to do with the Russian state. But instead, they, they couldn't do it. They fell back on the familiar pattern of denying everything and of bluster and of sarcasm. Russia knows who these two people are that have been identified as suspects by the British authorities. They know who they issued those genuine passports to, who booked them tickets. If Russia wanted to say that this was a rogue operation that was not sanctioned by the Russian state, this was the time to do it. Instead, no, we've seen the same old pattern, which is very worrying because it seems Russia has absolutely no concern about being seen more and more as a rogue state which is willing to release weapons of mass destruction on the streets of foreign countries. So should the West be worried then about further uh, acts? Absolutely, yes. It perpetuates that pattern of Russian behavior that we've seen where they are less and less concerned about the results of their actions and about the risks that it places for innocent civilians in other countries. There was not the slightest expression of regret that an innocent woman lost her life as a result of the actions of these Russian intelligence officers. Well, Russia, of course, denies uh, any involvement uh, in these acts, uh, as well as many of the other accusations which have been uh, leveled against it. Um, do, do you think that the, 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 you know, what, what pressure can the international community bring to bear now on the Kremlin? Well, first of all, the, the denials are absolutely routine. It followed the familiar script. You saw the, the Russian ambassador to the UN uh, following the same old pattern of first demand the evidence and say it's all a lie, and then, when the evidence is presented, say that the evidence is all fake and it's still all uh, anybody's fault except Russia. There may not be any other immediate pressure put on Russia. The sanctions declared by the United States a few weeks ago were probably in response to this new information that's been released uh, by the UK just this week. It may have been shared with the US in advance. But what it does do is constrain Russia's actions by reminding the rest of the world that they are at risk from a Russia which is entirely reckless and irresponsible in its behavior towards other countries. Keir Giles from the Russia and Euro-Asia program at Chatham House. Thanks for joining us.